Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Being that February is almost over, I wanted to share with you a couple of products I have been loving over the past month. So I'm going to start off with this Glam Glow Hydrating Facial Treatment. And this has been a total savior for my skin during these winter months. It's not like your typical mask that's going to draw everything out. Instead, it puts all the good stuff back in. It has amazing ingredients, hyaluronic acid, citric acid, coconut, um, it actually smells like coconut. I think ginger as well. Oh, it just smells like a beach. I love it. Um, I do find that this is the type you want to sleep in uh, overnight. Not like I, The first time I tried this, I think I put it on for 20 minutes and I took it off and then I didn't really see a difference. But if you sleep with it overnight, you're going to wake up and just be glowing the next day. This is also something really good to use if you're going to be traveling on an airplane as, at least for me, when I get on an airplane, my skin just goes like, like, like the moisture is all sucked out of my skin. I did in fact use this last week right before I boarded a plane and then four hours later I landed and I actually didn't have a single blemish which was like a godsend because I usually break out really badly when I travel on an airplane. So this is a giant thumbs up. It is pricey. It retails for I think... Is it $69? Maybe, yeah, I think I think it's about 70 bucks, like $69.99. But I do think this is worth it. For my next product, I have a primer. This is actually the first primer I've ever used. I never really believed in primers. I just didn't really think they did much. Also, I don't really have like oily skin, so I didn't feel the need to buy one. But I want to give it a try because this one, uh, it's the Mineral Primer Veil by Hourglass. And I liked the ingredients in it because it was, I believe it's titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, and those are the two types of sunscreens that don't break me out. So I don't really want to pump it out and waste it because it is expensive. I think this little thing was like... I should really do my research before I film videos. But I want to say maybe like $20 or $30. Um, the larger one is, I think, 50, but I really do like this, and I notice my makeup application is just a lot smoother. Um, I do think that it prolongs the wear of the makeup as well, so I think I will continue to use this, especially like during the summer when you are going to be like hot and sweaty. I think this will really come in handy. I bought another ambient lighting powder from Hourglass. This is the one in Diffused Light, and it sort of looks yellow in the pan. Um, but it doesn't come off that way at all. It's just a very, very sheer wash and it's sort of, um, I'd like to say it like diffuses the imperfections on your face and just sort of blurs it. The other one I have is the Luminous Light and this one looks more pinky beige in the pan. This one has a bit more of sparkle to it. I was using this one originally for um, setting underneath my eyes, but I think it has a little bit too much shimmer to it, so I'm actually now using that as a highlighter. It's almost like undetectable. Just a really, really subtle highlight. So I like that for sort of an everyday highlight because some of my others are a bit more bam in your face. And I like this, uh, the diffused light to set all over my face. So luminous light for highlighter, diffused light for setting powder. I've also gotten involved in Makeup Forever. This first one is the Aqua Shadow and they have kind of odd, like they don't have names, they just have numbers. This is the 28E and it's sort of like a rose gold. I really like it for kind of highlighting in the inner corner and even just underneath my eyeliner. And this stuff stays just all day. It does not budge. I believe it is, yeah, aqua shadow. It's waterproof. And also, so is this one. This is the aqua eyes, which is just a thinner pencil. And I usually use this one to um, line just like my waterline or do a little bit, give a little definition above the eye. And same thing, waterproof as well. So these things really don't budge. Uh, they'll be great for the summer or just people that want to, I mean, who doesn't want their makeup to last? You don't want to put on your makeup and have it be running down your face. So these are good all times of the year. Then next I have this Illusion de Ombre eyeshadow base. It's just a cream eyeshadow from Chanel. I can't remember if I showed this already. 
but my friend Maddie got it for me and it's a really pretty like a mauve not mauve 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 people always say that differently um, such a beautiful color for like the fall or winter rather we are still in winter unfortunately and it comes off pretty sheer actually so you do have to build it up but I really enjoy this like I can just put this swipe this on my eye and that's it I don't have to put anything else like because you can the way you blend it out like you can make it a little bit darker in the crease and then lighter on the lid so this is gorgeous and then my last thing is this Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry, Sham Dry Shampoo. And I do like this because it comes out clear. So it smells good. And I've just been really enjoying it. Anyway, that concludes my favorites for the month of February. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time.